Hey everybody, made the trip into my crawl space on my sweet cart uh, because this is a nice crawl space, the one that you want to have under your house. And I wanted to show you what happens if you do not maintain your ERV. A lot of people think that they need an ERV. In my opinion, you need an ERV when your house is pretty airtight and builders can accidentally build airtight. That happens a lot. So we have an ERV. It has two filters in it. All ERVs have two filters, one before and one after. And some brands are better than others. This is a Renewair that's not the one that's installed in my crawl space. And you can see here that we've got an upgrade for a Merv 13 pleated filter, which is nice. This Brone uh, also has the upgrade option for Merv 13 incoming filter. Um, you'll see what mine look like down in the crawl space. I upgraded as high as I could on that Fantec. But uh, this Renewair also uh, slightly fixes one of the problems. The balancing dampers that I have on my Fantec in the crawl space are just, I close off the airflow. This one is actually a dial-up uh, EC motor, which means it's infinitely variable, the, the fans on the pre and the post sides of this thing. So on the Renewair side, you just uh, can dial what speed you want the fans to run at instead of choking the fans off. And on this Brone, you actually set the airflow that you want, and then this machine actually will self-balance. It will make sure that the incoming and the outgoing are the same or are unbalanced to the degree that you set in the, uh, in the first place so that you avoid this unbalancing problem that I'm gonna show you. You need to clean them every three months. If you do not, what will happen is that you've got more pollution coming in from outside than going out. So the filter on the incoming side will get clogged faster than the filter going out if your home is a normal home. Of course, there are exceptions to everything. And that means that you'll have less air coming in than going out, which will then depressurize your house. And you'll end up with what I've got right now, which is about a negative four Pascal depressurization. You can see my pressure reading from my uh, DG8 manometer that I've set up. I like to just spot check my house every now and then. It's actually negative six, but that's because negative two is coming from my radon system, which is sucking on the seam between my wall and my slab. And I still have some ceiling work to do there. Um, so that's what that negative two is. Negative two is not worth me taking an entire weekend and sealing the entire seam of this thing. So I, it's like, waited, I have three kids. Um, negative two, I can, I can deal with, but this extra negative four that's coming from this machine, we're gonna fix right now, let me show you. So this is a Fantech SER150. The newer version is called a Hero, but they don't make the Hero in ERV. Here's the return coming from the rest of the house. I've got it coming in here. So the exhaust fan is in there and then it goes through the, uh, the uh, exchanger there. That's the ERV core. You can see that filter is not so bad. Let's go ahead and pull it out and let me just show you. Eh, little, little something there, but the, it's mostly dust. This is what you really want to be paying attention to. So sorry about the lighting here, but my God. So here's what we do. Three months, ladies and gentlemen, of a Merv 8 filter. It's got a bunch of dust in it, and it also has a bunch of little dead bodies of bugs that come inside. So it smells a little bit yucky, uh, and that is because there's rotting corpses on this thing. So that's another thing to think about aside from the hindered airflow, that we want the air coming from outside to be clean, not having things added to it, which are inside of the filter. And so of course, we're gonna replace this with a fresh one. Much better. It's a system, don't forget, everything interacts with everything else, but before you start grabbing at ventilation devices or starting choose them for your house, make sure that you have the time to maintain them or whoever is gonna live there has the, the means to get down into a crawl space that's nice, like this, um, and maintain them. I have a video course, by the way, on ventilation that's coming soon. Please do check that out at buildingformaceworkshop.com if you want to participate. If you have other ideas for videos that we should make or questions about this setup, uh, please do comment below. I uh, look at all those myself. Like and subscribe. Tune in next time.